Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Side Wander Shed. And again, we're in the kitchen today. The reason why. I just bought myself a brand new lodge, 10 and a quarter inch cast iron pan. This is one of the pre-seasoned ones that you're supposed to be able to cook with straight out the box. There we go. Anyway, just bought this. And what I'm gonna do, I've never used one straight out the box before. So we're gonna give it a shot here. The only thing I've done to this so far is I just rinsed it out with some hot water and dried the water off. Now we're gonna put it on the stove, heat it up a little bit. That's one of the things that I wanted to mention about cooking with cast iron. Everyone knows cast iron needs a little bit more work and care for it. Also, when you're cooking with them, it's not like a regular um, Teflon coated aluminum pan or even a steel frying pan. These things have some weight to them, there's some thick metal on them. So what you want to do is you want to put them on the stove and heat them up for a couple minutes first. You can't just throw it on the stove, turn the heat on and then toss everything in that you want to cook. You got to let them get heat soaked a little bit. Um, with that being said, that's what we're doing. We're going to let it get heat soaked. And uh, I'm not going to make anything real fancy here. We're just going to make some uh, eggs. And we're going to make some uh, corned beef hash. There's my oil, eggs, <laughs> corned beef hash. Let me see if I can't get you. Uh, let me see if I can't get you situated here, where you can see what's going on in the pan. There we go. So now, I've got the pan on medium heat. I can already feel it on the handle. And let's get this thing warmed up. Yep, that's definitely warm enough now. Now we add the oil to it. said it's definitely warm enough. I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit. Get that oil all in there. And let's see what happens when I toss an egg in here. interested to see is how and if oh yeah that stuck right to the bottom <laughs> yep that stuck right to the bottom even with all that oil in there even pre-seasoned stuck right to the bottom Let's see what kind of a mess we're going to have. Yeah, trying to get this off the bottom. Oh. Now, so far, I'm not impressed.
Alrighty then. That is a complete and total disaster right there. So, cooking in a pan right out of the box, even with oil in it, yeah, I don't see it happening. Now I know the more you use these, the easier they get to use. But um, yeah, all I'm going to do with this thing right now is just destroy breakfast. Uh, this pan's a $20, and they're good pans. They're good pans, but can you use them right out the box, even with oil? Even pre-seasoned? No. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Not, not without making a complete and total mess of everything. Okay? Um, that, and I've never been a fan of the textured bottom. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to fix this. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a little bit. But right now, I want to see, you know, all this is stuck to the bottom. I'm going to show you how you clean it. Okay, even with all that stuff stuck to the bottom, the heat's still on burning. Now one thing you never do, especially with a cast iron pan, never put cold water in it. As you can see, this is some good hot water. Put that in there. And now we're going to turn the heat up, right up to high. basically going to let this pan, if it will, pretty much clean itself. And for that little bit that was in there, you can see everything floating to the top. And don't be afraid to scrape these. You're not going to hurt them. But that should be good. Let's dump this out and see what it looks like. Okay. Now, don't want to put that right back on the heat just yet. Let's try a paper towel. Let's see what that does. Not too terribly bad. It worked out pretty good. But here's another little trick. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's still some stuff stuck in there, and that's because the bottom. That's because the bottom of it is not smooth. So, yeah, you could use steel wool, not an SOS. You don't want to use soap on it. You could also use a green scrubby. That would probably work. But if you want some abrasives, a little bit of salt in there. bit of water and I'm just 
just using the paper towel. Alrighty. Let's see how that did. Rinse this out a little bit. Put that back on the heat now. And we'll dry it out. Yep. Alright, so I cleaned up pretty good still. Problem is, it did stick. Everything stick. Now's about the time that normally I would add oil to this, but I'm not going to because I'm going to take you with me and we're going to smooth out the bottom of this pan and I don't want the oil on it to clog up my uh, my sander but right now that pan is just going to ruin breakfast so what we're going to do is we're going to get this pan out this is the exact same pan as that one and uh, it's one that I already smoothed the bottom out and I've seasoned it and we're going to do the same thing we're going to heat this one up then we're going to add oil to it and we'll see uh, see what the difference is in the um, in the eggs so uh, right now I'm going to pause you and I'll bring you back when this is ready to go Okay, we're back. Yep, that's hot enough now. Put some oil in there. Let the oil heat up. Get it good and coated. Okay. Now we'll try this egg in this pan. See how she does. My stove's not quite level. Turn the heat up a little bit. Yeah, we're getting there. Here's what I'm looking for, my little spatula. Just makes it a little easier. I don't need such a long one. But there we go. Okay, this is still this one's sticking a little bit. I'm a little surprised. Oh yeah, I'm a little surprised. So maybe we'll give that other one another try. I don't know what 
going on here? Who figures? Never sticks. Never sticks. So I'm trying to show something. But anyway, you can still see the bottom. At least it didn't burn to the bottom. We'll flip that over. down there a little bit. I don't know what happened. <coughs> Let's try this again. A little bit more oil. And you know what? We're going to heat the one up on the back burner and we're going to give that a second shot. Maybe it's just the way my luck is going today. Who knows? Try another one. Normally, I can just blow right underneath these. And I'll lift them right off the pan. We'll try the last egg in this one again. You can put a copious amount of oil in it. We're going to give everything a fair shot here. Yeah. Now the egg is sticking to the spatula. See the bottom of this pan. Nice and clean. Nothing baked itself to the bottom, although the egg was sticking a little bit. Nothing really stuck to that. But what we're going to do, we're going to give this one another shot. I'm not opposed to doing that. Until I'm done cooking, are you full? Did you want a fork with that? Sure, I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I think this should be warm enough. Like I said, we'll give this another shot. I'm interested. No, it wasn't warm enough, damn it. My bad. 
again this is just happening because I'm trying to video everything so of course anything goes wrong or it can go wrong will but in the meantime I know one thing I'm not doing I am not making my corned beef hash in this pan we're going to use this pan over here Get that going. And I'll probably switch burners here in a little bit. There's something on that burner that's smoking. Alright, let's see how our egg is doing. Yeah. Well, it's a little better. It's a little better, but it's still, it's still welding itself to the bottom. It is still welding itself to the bottom. Even with all that oil in it, it is, yeah. That end of it. Right there, it just damn, welded itself right to the bottom. And I broke the yolk. Damn it. So, yeah, I can understand the frustration with these pans. Right out of the box. And this is why I don't like that textured bottom don't like it at all. Yep. Don't care for it. But, okay, yeah, but I, I gave it a fair shot. I gave it a fair shot. doing we're doing the same thing again but we're gonna switch yeah. we're gonna switch burners here put my corned beef over here I'm gonna put this over here let that clean itself we'll see how things go in this pan with the corned beef uh, hash. And as you can see, this is just sliding right around. Turn the heat up. Give it a few minutes. This is.
Okay. Let that one dry itself out on heat. And it heats, heats up pretty good on this one. And as you can see, nothing is sticking to the bottom. I don't know what it was with those eggs. And uh, I'm sorry, but the way that that other one, <laughs> the egg was actually welding itself to the bottom. I'm just going to stick with my smooth bottom cast iron pan here. Uh, these two are exactly the same pans. The only difference was somebody gave me this one and it was not uh, pre-seasoned. Now when I got it, it did have the textured bottom, the bumpy bottom on it. And what I did was I have a grinder with a sanding wheel and I sanded this. I have a video of it. I sanded this so it was almost to a mirror finish, then washed it and seasoned it. We're going to do the same thing with this, only I'm not going to use the grinder with the sanding wheel because not too many people have those, or at least not, not everyone does. But what most people do have access to is a grill, or a drill, sorry, a drill, and they make a sanding wheel attachment. And I'll show you all this, that's what I got. Now, I know with my grinder, it took me all of 10 minutes to press this pan with the sander and the sanding pads. I'm probably going to be working on the other one for about an hour or so. It's a little bit of time. But I can guarantee you it's going to make a big difference. And this pan, this pan does not have 20, 30 year seasoning on it like the rest of my pans do. Less than a year. And like I said, the more you use them, the better they get. Now, I want to show you something else. This spatula right here, so it's got the Lodge logo on the bottom. My brother-in-law and my friend Doogie made this for me for Christmas. And what they did was they bought a pan exactly like this. And he cut it up. This actually used to be one of these frying pans. And they took it and they cut it and they made me a spatula this is a little too heavy for this small pan I mean, it doesn't can't get in there good enough with it but it's great for my bigger pans and it's great for out on the grill but I thought that was pretty cool that's uh, that's made out of a frying pan With all that being said, what I want to know is, seeing as how I really don't need another brand new frying pan. Okay, uh, especially I got this one which I've already taken care of. I don't need this one. I've actually got another lodge pan. This one is from the 1940s, but this is my fish pan. I've got this lodge pan, it's an old one, same as that one from the 40s, this one's a little bit later.
Then I got this old Wagner. So I got plenty of uh, these 10 and a half inch sized frying pans. And those are just the ones I have in the house. That's not the ones I keep outside to cook on the wood stove in the shed. Or the two that I have specifically for the camper. Look at that, got that nice nice little crust going on and none of it none of it sticking to the bottom of the pan. But anyway, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna grind the bottom of this down. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put, grind the bottom of this pan down until it's nice and smooth the inside. And then I'm gonna season it and I'm gonna take you through all the steps. Okay. And since I don't need another one, what I'm thinking of doing is having a giveaway. Yes, I will give this, that brand new large pan, to one of my subscribers. But there's four things you'll have to do for me in order to win this pan. First one is, be a subscriber. Second, hit that like button. Third, share this video. And the next one, and all my videos, I'd appreciate it, but especially these cast iron ones. Especially with uh, this pan here. Share that video. And starting right now, leave a comment. Leave a comment saying that you want that cast iron pan. Because uh, the, way, the way you're going to win it is everyone leaves a comment, a like, and is a subscriber. I'm going to write your names down. My wife, who is almost five foot one, her words, not mine. I'm going to put all your names in this pan. This pan right here. I'm going to hold it over her head, and she's going to uh, pull your name out of the pan. And whose ever name gets pulled out will win that pan. So. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the pan. I want to show you how I'm going to clean this nice, smooth-bottomed, well-seasoned lodge. Let me show you how we're going to clean this pan up. Look at that. Nothing is burnt or stuck to the bottom of this pan. Okay. And This pan will clean up with just a regular paper towel. I'll be right back. I had to step outside to get the damn paper towels. And unfortunately, the camera was blocking the door. So, other than that, I haven't done anything and it's only been about maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. Let me show you how easy this cleans up. Okay, look at that. That wipes. I'm sorry, can you see this? Look at that. That wiped up, that cleaned up really good. I'm going to take this over to the trash and get the uh, rest of the little bits out. But I'm right here, just right behind you.
and that's it that's clean now every time you clean these that didn't even need water or anything anytime you clean these so every time you use them while the pan is still warm add a little bit of water you don't have to add a whole lot I probably I know I put a little bit too much in than what I need right now Trying to get it so you can see. See a little bit of oil. Swirl it around on the pan here. Take the paper towel. Okay, and we're going to coat everything on the pan while it's still warm. That way, there, the metal, the cast iron itself, absorbs everything. I do the outsides as well. Okay, now this, that's a little bit too much oil. Okay, because I'm not going to, it'll be used again, so I don't need to oil it that much. So I'm going to take a dry paper towel. And wipe it again. There. Now you see it's got that nice little sheen to it, but it doesn't look like it's coated in oil because it's not. And yeah, paper towel is clean. That's it. That fan is good to go. That can sit there. Well, that's all I'm going to show you right now. And uh, I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> I'm going to use this pan to actually finish cooking the bacon and everything else just because I got a lot more people to feed than what that pan will be useful for. So I need just a little bit bigger pan, but you all don't need to see me cooking bacon and cooking breakfast and everything else. I just wanted to show you the difference between a smooth bottom pan that I prepped and a brand new one out the box. Now there's nothing wrong with these pans. But they are, they're definitely not ready to go right out the box. As a minimum, even if you don't grind these down smooth, I would definitely season them with oil, cover them with oil, put them in an oven at 550 degrees for about an hour, turn them off, wipe them down, then oil them again, put them in the oven, do that at least three times before I cook on this thing again. I wouldn't use it right out the box. Um, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to turn this pan into one that looks just like this. And as you saw, nothing was sticking to this. Anyway, you all have a good day. Stay tuned. Remember, like subscribe share and leave a comment leave a comment saying that you want this cast iron pan when i'm done with it and uh probably probably in about a month maybe two weeks yeah i'm gonna shoot for two weeks in two weeks we'll have the drawing i'll do it uh i'll do a video of the drawing and uh whoever's uh, name i pull out Gets a new cast iron pan. Y'all take care now.